How much do you reckon I paid for this jacket? See, I predict that that's going to be a question a lot of you are going to be asking in the near future because of this. This is priceless. It's the new effect out by Sanders Effects. It's a joint collaboration between, between Michelle Huat and Richard Sanders and it is a killer, killer effect. It's a great blend of comedy and mentalism at the same time. So what exactly is it? You ask a spectator just how much they think the jacket costs. It can be anything. They can say whatever they like. Say they say uh, 1572. So you write down 1572 and at any point in time you confess to them. You say, well, I didn't actually pay for this jacket. And you take your jacket off to show because you have still locked on there the security tag, which is a great gag. You get a great laugh out of this but then you get the kicker finish when you turn the sales tag around and show that the price on the sales tag is indeed 1572 or whatever price that they named because that is the effect you predict or the spectator predicts the price you paid for your jacket. So what do I like about this? Uh, there are so many things that I like about this. The fact that it comes straight out of the box, ready to go. You get the package, you pin the gimmick in, and you can perform. You get two different tags. So you get the tag that I just showed you, the sales tag, but you also get a nondescript price tag. Uh, and these are made out of a really sturdy plastic that's just gonna last a lifetime. As long as you don't lose them, which I can't imagine you will because they'll be pinned to your jacket, then uh, you're not gonna have a problem. Also, uh, the nice thing about this is the reset. The reset is literally like three seconds. And there's a couple of different ways that Richard Sanders performs this if you wanted to perform it, walk around time and time and time again. Uh, so there's all these bases covered. As you would expect from a Sanders FX product, this has been worked and worked and worked so that all the best ways to perform this have been discovered already and they're all passed on to you. That leads me on to the next thing. What is this good for? Is this good for stage? Is it good for parlor? Is it good for close up? And the answer is it's good for all of these environments. Uh, is it good for a beginner or a pro? It's actually suitable for all different types of performer. And you get everything, as I say, laid out for you. You get the presentation and then the kicker finish, which is so strong. So another great thing about Priceless is that there are different ways that you can perform this. You don't actually need to be wearing a jacket to perform it, believe it or not. Richard Sanders has a great uh, variation where the tag is actually on show on your back. And, uh, and he begins with a gag about that. So that could just be pinned to a t-shirt and then you'd be, be able to perform this without sleeves just in a t-shirt and no jacket. Uh, so there's tons of variation for this. Like I say, it's suitable for so many different types of venues and performing situations. I'm sure that there is a setup or there is a routine that would fit you no matter where you're performing this. Another thing would be the value for money. Essentially, this is really great value for money. It's a perfect working prop. It comes straight, all ready to go. Uh, you get the two tags with it. You just clip it in and you're ready to perform. Uh, so it all comes ready. There's nothing that you have to do. There's no glue or anything that you have to mess around with. Just clip it in and go. Is there any pros like cons to these pros? The only con that you might think is that you have to carry a notepad around with you. But to be honest, I do mentalism. I note things down uh, in performance anyway, so it's no added extra pocket space that's taken up for me in using this which I'm sure is gonna be very common with a lot of performers out there. That's about the only downside that I can think of to this effect. It's, a, it's such a strong, clear, to the point effect. A couple of questions that when we showed the demo video to other people, what they, what they thought of and, and asked about. One question was, what's the justification for having this pad and for writing things down? And the answer to that is you don't need to justify it. You'll see in the live close-up performances, that Michel Huat performs this and he places the pad down right in front of the spectators and nobody cares about it at all. Also, there is a question about the actual security tag and what the security tag looks like. The answer to that is, it looks just like a security tag. Security tags come from in all different shapes and sizes from around the world and this just looks like a security tag. 
so I wouldn't worry about that. The prop build is actually really, really quality, so I can't envision anything going wrong with this. Like I say, I'm, I'm trying to list cons, but I'm coming back to the pros because this really is a great effect. Once again, this has been Priceless by Michel Huat and Richard Sanders, the latest Sanders effects to uh, hit the market. I highly recommend it. My name's been Ben Williams, and this has been for the Merchant of Magic.